Okay, well here we have a slightly more complicated number sentence to solve called an equation. Well, you know, here we have an equation. We want to know what x is equal to. Now, I've deliberately set this up so x will be a nice whole number for us to work out. Now, what we'll do again is we'll step by step peel back the layers of this so that we can work out what x is equal to. So, if we do that, what I'll do is I'll write out my equation again, but I want to get rid of this plus 1. Now the opposite of a plus 1 is a minus 1. So I'll minus 1 on both sides. Now see how on this left hand side here I have plus 1, minus 1, those are opposites and we'll cancel out and just leave 5x over 2. Now x minus 1 is 10. Now I'm getting a bit closer to the solution here and this down to this level here, it definitely looks more easy than this one here. Now, the next thing to do is to get rid of this divided by 2 here. Now, the opposite of dividing by 2 is timesing by 2. So if I times by 2 both sides, I've done the same thing to both sides, and dividing by 2, timesing by 2, they'll cancel out and just leave 5x. 10 times 2 is 20. So, my equation again looks simpler. So here's the same as this, which is the same as this, but this looks much easier. The last thing to remember is between the 5 and the x is a times. Now, if I can do the opposite of a times, which is a divide, I can solve my problem here, because times by 5 divided by 5 cancels out, and that'll leave x on its own. 20 divided by 5 is 4. So the solution to my problem should be 4. Now if I plug in, in place of x, 4, this is 5 times 4, which is 20. 20 divided by 2, which is 10. 10 plus 1, which is 11. So the correct solution is x equals 4. Alright everybody, well I hope that helped, and I'll see you in class.